2024, 16 elephants in Wange National Park had GPS tracking collars fitted around their necks. The gadgets are now providing hourly updates on their movements. The data is useful for conservationists trying to preserve a habitat that is under pressure due to the growing animal population. 16 is really a good number because uh, if you feed one collar in a head of 10, on average, which is basically the average head size of um, of elephants. So we are basically uh, tracking the movement of probably 160 elephants plus. There's also a, um, a human wildlife conflict um, lens to it where we want to assist communities to detect uh, possibilities of conflict early. Villages in communal areas adjacent to the park have frequently had their crops damaged and some have been maimed and killed by elephants that have strayed out of the park in search of food and water. The Earth Ranger software tracking tool has a virtual geofence marking the boundary of the national park. From this dashboard, people here can see when elephants are encroaching into human settlements so they can warn those communities to take necessary precautions. We try to identify youths who are still very energetic, who are also literate, who can also perform some of the demanding roles of patrolling around uh, the buffer zone areas where the boundaries of the protected areas and where the communal, area, communal land starts. And we've provided the basic equipment the basic knowledge for them to understand and appreciate behavior of uh, problem wildlife species like elephants, like lions. Mitigating human wildlife conflicts has become a top priority given the overpopulation of elephants. Wange National Park is home to 45,000 jumbos, three times more than its capacity. Authorities say the collars have aided other conservation efforts. And it also helps us even to detect things like poaching. If the elephant is no longer moving, it means researchers can easily detect that it has stopped for quite a, a long period and becomes a, a concern. Zimbabwe has recently registered progress in anti-poaching efforts, success it hopes to extend to reducing human-wildlife conflict. Farai Makutuya, CGTN, Harare, Zimbabwe.